What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Inquisition. Last time we made it into the Fade, and today we're gonna try to escape. So, let's get a move on. Let's go ahead and check over here first. There's a bunch of wraiths over here. Let's see what they have to say. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, can you guys just, just come over here, please? Just, please? Yeah? So, we have two, two, um, NPCs with us that aren't in the party, so I would imagine they're invincible. So that's kind of good. They can just rush the enemy and just constantly do damage. I'm sure they can be down, maybe, but I don't think so, because they're not in the party. So I'm not sure. Oh, there's... Huh. A Shadowed Viridian Crystal. There's... There's... Oh. I thought there was material here. That looked like material. It sounded like material, too, but apparently it wasn't. There's got to be some sort of fade material. What is this? Why is there, like, fire coming out of the water here? And who said that looks odd? It's the Fade. Everything looks odd in the Fade. Should we look around? What the fuck? Fears of the Dreamers, the Pilgrim. I came to the Temple of Sacred Ashes with the Faithful, ready to help at the Conclave. I prayed to the Maker for peace, but the mountain shook and fell and buried me. Alone in the darkness, my legs crushed, I cried in fear of a world with no Maker, fading in and out of dreams of monsters inside the black. Light my final hours, let me go to the Maker, without the terrors of darkness confounding me. So it looks like these notes we keep finding are the what final thoughts. Better take a closer look. Are the final thoughts of dead people, like who died. It's like their final thoughts there. It's kind of cool. Here's the dreamer. Find another fear. Okay, so the can't. So we're looking for fears. We have to present them to the dreamer. What? A plea from the warrior to the spirits. The wolves were our allies in the old days before Andraste, before the Maker. We knew this to be so, but men grew tired of the chase, the hunt, the truth of fang and steel and blood. Men put seeds in the ground and tended the cattle and chickens and built fences to keep the wolves away. Men bred hounds that would heal and sit and obey and told himself that the hounds were just as good. Now the dark spawn come again. They break our fences, kill our cattle and chickens, burn our crops. Our, do our dogs cower with, uh, with tails between their legs. Or if they fight, they fall to the poison of dark spawn blood. We are dying, and I am shamed by my cowardice. The ways of man and hound are not enough. I come to you, spirits of the old forest. I who built fences, I who came with fire and steel to drive you away, I come to you because fear has made my arms weak. I ask you for unforgiving rage to make them strong again. Kill the hound in my heart and grow strong from the meat on its bones. In its place, give me the wolf. Words caught in the bloody ripples of ancient waters in the fade. Somehow remember. Yes, yeah, so this is like really kind of creepy. I love the writing here, though. Like, you just kind of, like, it's constantly the thoughts of people who are going to die or who are destined to die or who know there's no hope, you know, like, people at Haven. I, I really, I'm really enjoying these notes that I'm finding around here. I wonder if we can find some more. We just got enhanced flash fire. That's not bad. Trying to go to the uh, the off-stricken paths here, the ones that don't just lead up the big staircase, because those usually will have some extra stuff, you know, like things to read. Which I'm actually interested in reading your things here. Very interested in th at that. I'm just curious to see all the stories, you know? Let's go ahead and fire on that shade. I'm almost dead, holy shit. Wow, I didn't realize how close to death I was. Damn, son. We go over there. Yep, I'm over here. This is a book, so I don't know if we'll read it. Is this actually a book? I don't know if this is actually a book. I think I'll read it though. I once studied the Fade as a scholar, dissecting it as a child might a rat or a frog. I was young and craved the power conquering the Fade would bring. I tried in vain to chart its paths, and when that failed, I attempted to secure them. In my arrogance, I struggled against the Fade's very nature. How does one pin down a dream? How can one control a thought so that it might travel always the same course from one conception to completion? Only when I let myself go of when I let go of my desires and humbled myself to the fade, 
point. Humbled myself was the fade open to me. The spirits came and took it upon themselves to be my guides, my lanterns in the darkness. At their command, the paths grew still, and I could walk them again and again. I was shown vast oceans containing not water, but memories drawn from the minds of dreamers. I drifted through frozen moments like paintings, perfect in each detail. As I explored this impossible realm, the spirits kept darker things at bay. I came to trust them, even love them, and I saw my own love reflected in them. To know the Fade, one cannot seek the mas to master it. The Fade is the master, the teacher. We are merely the apprentice. Writings of Magister Callistus of Terraven. Ter Known to some as Clistus the Fade Touch. So, I was under the impression that the Fade was like, you know, the, I don't know, like hell in this world, I guess, you know. Like, the equivalent to that, you know? The, like, equivalent to what hell is in other worlds, I mean. But, the more I'm here, it's not like that. It's like, this is a dream world or something. I didn't know that. So what? We're being attacked from nightmares? It's a nightmare world? Is that what it is? I investigated it, but, or examined it, but nothing happened. Huh. Like, is that what's happening? Is this nightmare? Maybe that's what the Fade is. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is from what I'm reading now. The Fade, like, the demons, the shades, the wraiths, the terrors, they're not demons. That's why they're not called Darkspawn. Darkspawn are demons. Well, some of these call, are called demons, anyway. Aren't they in the dark spawn, too? I don't even fucking know. I think this is a nightmare, though. A nightmare realm. At least, I don't know. Maybe. By the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinian. Thought you were dead. From the little I remember of what happened at Haven, I thought you were dead. I fear the divine is indeed dead. It is likely we face a spirit or a demon. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the fade yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. That's right. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt, my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Why did demons serve Corypheus? Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. <laughs> oh crap. How do we get home? Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. They don't look like memories to me, they look like wraiths. I'm guessing my the wraiths are memories. I'm just so confused by this area, like in general, right now. There we go. We got one of our memories. Yay! You get it. 
One swing. It's up to you. Recover that memory. Run go. when you can. Warn them. Wait, what? Oh, was that my fourth of the sacrifice? Those are my memories I'm remembering. I thought that was someone talking. I was like, what? What's going on here? I just stumbled on this when they were sacrificing. So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. This is what I suspected. It's this this is why I suspected. suspected. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Oh. Oh, I God. never met the Divine. You think that was really her? We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or, if it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia, that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? She seems interested in helping us. That much is clear. And the nightmare? From what she said, I don't look forward to meeting it. Sounds like it preys on fear. Stealing people's memories, that's low. Even for a demon. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, passion, every emotion. Save perhaps desire. Be wary. The nightmare will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. So I wonder which wardens were the ones who were in that room. I wonder if someone in that room wasn't taken. You know, he just agreed to do it. Because then we had to go kill that guy. A letter written in a shaking hand. Son. By the time you read this, the Darkspawn Poison Wolf claimed me. We gave all at Starkhaven, and we bought time for the Wardens to slay the Archdemon. But when I smelled the corruption in my wound, I knew I would not live to see you again. Phyrus will want men to search the battlefield. He sees Starkhaven as rising to greatness, and the weapons of a hundred dead Grey Wardens lying unclaimed on the ground will help him conquer the Free Marches. You must refuse. The battlefield is soaked in poison, and no speech, no bullying, no taunts about cowardice can change that. Anything that roams that battlefield now will die. Saw him however you must, and watch for the crows. Those birds have a good sense to fear the blight. When you see them gather, then you will know that the poison is gone, and it is safe for you to search the battlefield for trinkets to satisfy Phyrus. I will not be here to guide you, son, so you must learn from the crows. They watch patiently and let their fear keep them alive. Please, I beg you. 
Watch the crows and do the same. Sora. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep moving. So we have to fight a big nightmare? Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Corypheus, that's Some definitely Corypheus. foolish little boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulders. Shut you up, Corypheus. You thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? Corypheus, how about Only you just shut your mouth? stronger from your fear. But you are a guest here, I hope. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. Corypheus, you're gonna die, sir. Maybe not here, maybe not today, but eventually, you're gonna go down. And I'm gonna make sure you don't come back. I'm gonna make sure you're dead for good, sir. For fucking good. Keep fearing him, quickly, quickly. Something special. I expected worse. These are but minor servants of the nightmare. Pity. Ooh. Ooh. Flowers. Two of five. You had to present them to like different people. Freeholder the pilgrim. Ugh. Mmm. I'm guessing they're just like spirits that are sitting there. Yep. Fears of the dreamers, the freeholder. I watched the blight take my land. I had nowhere to go. I tended the fields as I had, even as my flock died and my family sickened. My body racked by pains and chills. I saw too late the poison that had crept into the land. In my fever dreams, the sickness covered this whole world, and I wept in fear for the family I killed with my foolish pride. Show me that this world survives. Show me that the poison does not take everything. Have some flowers. We got constitution? What? Isn't that like an attribute? I'm confused now. I'm confused. I'm con fucking confused. Drake Stone. Yeah. Move, guys. Come on. What is that? What is that? The Claws of Dumat. Master unveiled a new altar. It stands higher than a man, like a great statue, and great spikes jut out from its length. Hungry for blood. Master calls it the Claw of Dumat and says that the altar will help bring Tevinter to glory. I praised it, as was expected, and Master smiled. It was good to see him smile again. He has been fearful of late, vexed by the loss of his followers. He has met with others, with other priests, and in secret, I have heard them discussing ways to return the people of Tevinter to the ways of the old god, as, as is only just. He spoke to me later in the day and asked that I could call him Corypheus, as it was the name he would take for himself after a ritual. Master, now Corypheus, told me that my people, the elves of old, were tied to the Fade, and that in order to carry out the will of Dumat, he would need to call upon the magic that lives in our blood. Corypheus told me to gather all the elven servants and bring them to the western hall of our home at midnight. That is the hall where the Claw of Dumat is now kept. There are shackles across the top of the great altar, and pools lined with runes beneath the claws. I have sent my wife and children away, but I have not worn the others. A few I may save if I tried to save us all, we would only be killed in some other way, and others would die in our place. Master once laughed and joked. He could be stern, but he was not a cruel man. The weakening of the temple has brought fear into his heart, and that fear has changed him. The cuts upon his arms are deeper and longer where he used his blood magic more often. He speaks to his wife little. He listens only to the voices in his dreams. It is almost midnight. The Claw of Dumont, great and spiked and merciless, is all my mind can see. I must gather the others. My family is safe. Perfius will take me, but not those I love. Words somehow preserved in blood at the statue's base. So, Corypheus was once just a sane man who just, he's, he got, he was scared of losing everything. Of losing everything that, you know, that he worked for. And because of that, he sought ways to make himself stronger. And because of that, he did this blood ritual that turned him into this. That's weird and interesting. Kind of feel bad for Corypheus. He did it out of fear. He didn't do it out of power at first. He did it out of fear. Well, he did it out of power 
to prevent the fear. He wanted more power so he wouldn't have to be scared, you know? If you have enough power, there's no reason to be scared. Dexterity plus one. I'm just getting a bunch of buffs from these. Or, well, I don't even know if they're buffs. These are attribute, um, Watch out. attribute bonuses. Are, our way. They look like spiders. Holy shit. I don't like how they're called corruption and war. What? Corruption and war. I'm gonna go this way first. What is that? Is that a man on fire? Let's get another Viridian Crystal. There we go. Come on. Come on. Onyx 17. We're getting a lot of medals, which is nice. I'm not familiar with this. Excerpt from a journal. They think they own us. They think they decide whether to li we live or die. They sit there smug in their armor, ready to cut off our heads for the slightest transgression, as though we don't strive every day to stay sane, to keep the demons away. They can't control us any longer. I won't go back to the circle, not ever. I thought about it last night, being back in the tower, their eyes on me, and all of it came back. All the years, head down, don't clench your fingers, be a good mage, be a quiet mage. And I realize I don't want to make peace with the Templars. I want them to burn. Want it so badly that the bed caught fire and wouldn't it go and wouldn't go out until Evine Evan Evine iced it all over. It's still there inside me. I want them to feel the fear they made me feel. I want them to know what it's like. We're leaving for the Conclave in a few hours. If those bastards so much blink the wrong way, I'll let them see what an apostate looks like. From the Journal of an Unknown Mage. Oh my fucking god, he just exploded. Was that like- oh, and he turned into a rage- I just died. He turned into a rage- so that was like all of his rage against the Templars manifesting in a demon. Or something, I guess. I don't know. And once it's dead. Yay, for lack of potions. Ba -na 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 -na. I'm gonna go with Varric because uh, the AI normally knows how to use Blackwell better than me. There we go. Come on, he's almost down. Keep it up, keep it up. Let me get up there and throw down a trap real quick. Actually, throw down a bunch of traps. A bunch of elemental ones. There we go. Shield I behind him, drop another trap. Facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. And there we go. Come on. Like Black Wall. Ah, there's nothing like a Grey Warden, and you are nothing like a Grey Warden. Whoa, man. I'll show you a warden strength, beast. Whoa, man. He's just insulting Black Wall. Jesus Christ. Are there two of them? Oh, just, yeah, there are two of them. Shit. This one's coming for me. There we go. Bastard. No, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Blackwell is in low health. Come on, Blackwell. Get your shield up. Your guard. Come on. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. I'm gonna die at this rate. Okay, time to back off. There we go. There we go, heal up. Nice. And just keep the fire going. Come on, come on. Take out these rage demons. Go ahead for another leap back. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bunch of mines on them too real quick. Hopefully I'll do a bunch of damage. Not really much, honestly. Another leap back. Come on, he's almost down. One of them are. One of them is. I'm almost dead, though. I better heal. Blackwell's almost dead, too. This is why we need... Alright, well, the game crashed in probably the weirdest way ever. Like, normally... Normally a game will crash and, um... You know, you get an error or something or other... And that's it, you know, or sometimes you get nothing. Uh, this time the game crashed, I got no error, nothing. The game didn't even freeze, it just like exited out, which is really strange of Inquisition. Never seen a crash like this before. And I guess it was in the middle of um, a vibration on the controller. So I had, uh, my controller was just, you know, the rumble feature on my Xbox controller. It was just, it was vibrating. 
Constantly. I had to unplug my controller to stop it from, vi from vibrating. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what caused the crash, honestly. I'm guessing... I don't know, maybe it's something in the fade, maybe it's a bug here. Or it's probably just something unlucky that happened. I don't know what it could have been. But uh, I'm not worried about it because I don't have mods or anything like that, so it's not like something's conflicting. It's probably just a bug. Not too worried about it. If it keeps crashing, which I doubt it will, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, I shouldn't even be going this much into detail of it. It's just, just a crash. Just a normal crash. Nothing wrong, wrong with that. But anyway, guys, I am going to end today's adventure here, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.